Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a brand new bunkhouse from Coachman and you are going to absolutely love it. This is a 2021 Coachman Encore model 375RB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Encore and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the Class A Bunkhouse of the Year, the Coachman Encore 375RB. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! We've missed you! I've missed you guys too. And yeah, we're here in Tampa. It's a cold, windy day, but you guys, if you didn't see the uh, virtual, uh, not the Tampa RV show, and you didn't see this model, we are gonna do the in-depth tour of it. Yes, so and- I'm excited. And if you guys haven't seen our top five awards list, we'll link it down here at the end of this video. Yes. But Andrea, it's cold, it's windy, but I'm super excited to show everybody this unit. Let's begin. Great, so let's get started up front here. Andrea, I love the headlight design. I love this front grill right here. I call it like the honeycomb shape. It looks real mean, nice and aggressive. I love how it kind of looks like a GMC Denali and these aggressive lights. Model is 375 RB, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 38 feet, two inches. You do have side cameras integrated both left side and right side. And look at these huge, big chrome style bus mirrors right there. And then check out these tires, Andrea. They're the Michelin's. 275-80R22.5, 22.5 with the Alcoa rims. Now, because this is a 2021, Andrea, it does have the new 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. Very nice. Coming down the side, you can see that this has a beautiful full body paint job. Full body paint's the option, partial body paint is the standard. We have a very nice big power awning with LED lights. There is speakers in the awning, but because the wind, we are not gonna put it out today. Because this is Coachman Motorhome, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. You have TV on the outside here. Also notice the frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. I love that. And then right here, you can see that it does have an inverter for the residential refrigerator and very nice pass-through uh, storage. Good storage. Now, this does not have aluminum storage, slam latch doors, but it is the fiberglass and at least it is slam latch. And I just love the detail of the paint job. Look at that, very nice storage. We got an electrical outlet there. Yes, ma'am. Coming down the side. Right here is going to be your propane tank. And we will have all the tank sizes, lengths, with specs, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody who's watching on television. You have a propane quick connect right there. If you want to have a grill on the outside. More storage there. And more storage there. And then here's your water heater. I love the location of it because it's on the black part of the paint. Coming around the back, we have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Look at the headlight, look at the lights, look at this. It looks pretty I love sharp. This. It looks higher end. It does. 8,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 8,000 pounds. Well, you gotta be careful, you're good at 5,000 pounds. Make sure you check how much you load in it. Backup camera right there. Also, we have a one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Hey Matt, I don't think you should walk on it because it's very windy. Here we go now. Hold on. I'm serious. Just just do it from right there. Way too windy. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. You have not one but two air conditioning units. Look at that nice skylight right there. You'll see that in a second. King Air digital antenna and it does already have a solar panel. Hold on. Here we go now. Take your time. All right. 
slow. Okay. Hold on, Matt. Here we go. Okay, last step. Big jump. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's going to take his fat ass up on the roof on a windy day to show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Really, nobody. Also, fuel fill up in the rear. Oh, Look at this water bay. Black tank flush. Very nice for the half bath. 50 amp power cord right here. Furion. We love our Furion. Own Cummins own in 5500 gasoline generator. Ooh. Wet bay, that's beautiful. I absolutely it is. love it. Absolutely. Nothing else needed to be said. Other that is, side. That is how you're supposed to have a wet bay. Other side of the storage. Yes, ma'am. All right. Very more nice. storage and more storage. Nope. Oh, level. But you can see the auto leveling. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome is beautiful, but it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Fancy footwork. All right, cargo carrying capacity. 4,246 pounds. Wow. Andrea, you're about to see why this one the number one okay. class A with bunk beds for 2021. <sighs> He's like, you go too slow. All right, guys. Okay, so as you can see, the slide is in. Look at this walkway. Look at that. Plenty of space to get through. Even when I get to here, I can still get into the half bath. It's, it's still accessible. And as you can see, the master bed, you can still use that with the slide in. Yep. Very, Very nice. While well, the slide out's coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about a brand new Encore and three things you don't like about it. The more people who are commenting and smashing that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to uh, promote our videos. And Andre, we haven't been on for a while, but we're at 105,000 subscribers. That's amazing. And and we we uh, we couldn't been we couldn't have done it without you guys. It's crazy. With the Tampa show and the top five awards, we put out 60 videos wow. in January. Wow. We're tired. We're crushing it, but we're doing it all for you guys. That's right. Because you guys are doing it for us. That's and we right. Thank you. Now let's take a look at this one. Like Andrea. Yes. Andrea and I are on like a little weekend vacation. Where? We are at Clearwater Beach. And we took a little break from our vacation. To come here to Tampa. Because I wanted to show everybody yes. this motorhome before it sold. So let's check out this. This has the new 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. You have your auto leveling right here. Nice modern steering wheel and everything. Your camera goes right there, left and right blinker in reverse. Also, it does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Andrea, Ooh. sit in my co-captain seat, please. You don't have to tell me twice. All right, very comfortable. Uh, I like this. This is always a big deal to me that yep. we have somewhere to work. We have a USB up here. And then I like that over here. Have a nice window. Got the privacy curtain, you guys. And you can see those big mirrors right there. Yes. And then super nice. Let's take a look at the storage above. And very nice. Hin hip held up by hinges. And you guys, both seats do swivel to become part of the living area. Yep. Also, we do have a bunk over the cab. And that button is. It's over the. Oh. Right here. Now, the weight on this is 300 pounds, I believe. Yep. yep. I love how Coachman, they always put that safety net around. I really like that. Yep, and we'll leave it dropped right there. Okay. But very nice bunk over the cab with the netting, yes. Then over here in the dinette, Andre, just stand right there real quick. Look, look at this open space. Look at this, the all new I love skylights. That. I love that feature. You have a dinette right here. 
How do you like these light bounces? They're okay. <laughs> That's funny. The last two encores had them. Andre didn't like them either. <laughs> I was just seeing if time I don't, changed it's, it's, mine. It, it, you know what it is? It's not that I don't mind the shape of them. It's that chrome looking color like on it. them. I like it. It would it have matches, been better if it was clear. It matches the balances. And look at these MCD shades. Nice. Right? Very nice. Also on this dinette, it does pull out and then look at that you mean storage soft clothes storage underneath and that dinette. what is that that that's a clock and actually Andrea, <laughs> that clock is art deco no <laughs> i actually think it is I, I don't think so i'm waiting for the manufacturers to actually put in art deco to trip me up yep and then look at this again the soft clothes i love that it does drop down to make a bed and then over here in the living room area we have a tri cushion. I like that sofa. Sofa with. Oh, oh, oh that's that one there. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you oh, go. Oh, and there's a massager in it. Nah. -uh. I promise. Really? You, Hold oh, on. Heated in massage chairs. What? Yeah, very nice. Oh wow. So it's actually a triple theater seat so nice that look, and it was very that. comfortable i sat on it yeah very nice and what's even nicer is i love heated seats yeah that is directly across from the tv we have some cabinets over here matt let's check these oh, out oh i didn't even see them got cabinets. the frosted look and look i love the struts that are holding them up and everything grab that last one very nice yes. very cute balances very nice. You're doing a great job. <laughs> You're doing a great job keeping me on track. I know. And then right over here, we have more storage above here. Got a okay. opening for a fan up there. Slide out buttons and everything. Panels. As you guys can tell, the generator's on right now. You got your De Jensen TV and Greystone fireplace. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP. On this fifth wheel here no, honey, is... No, this is a motorhome, not a fifth wheel. MSRP! <laughs> on this motorhome here is... $192,445. That's MSRP. Sale prices, you can see right there, we're only allowed to advertise it at 26% off, which makes it $143,998. That's an okay price. But Andrea, yes. we were slanging these things at the Tampa you, show. You guys were. I don't know if we can get you the Tampa show price, but I know we can get you a price almost as good, but a lot better than where we're at now. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or even better, go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. There you will see a contact me tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this motorhome, not a problem. Click that second email. That questions go to Will and myself and we answer you within 24 hours. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, click that third tab and that's the email that Andrea monitors. And it doesn't matter if they click tab three, two, or one, Andrea. What is one thing that every tab has in common? They'll get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, everybody. So we're going to start over here in the kitchen. Very nice. I'm going to point this out because it's over here. But they need an extension on here. Not needed, but not appreciated. Needed. Yeah, definitely not needed. But it is appreciated. And use your air because I don't know how to keep this one up. It doesn't matter. But it's okay. Solid surface countertop, really pretty. Start over here with the cabinetry. Mm. Nice cabinets. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. This what backsplash. It's it feels it's like, like a, tiled a little bit. Maybe. The shape. I'm calling it like a lemon shell. I love this. I love mm. the panoramic Big window. Big window. Nice. Look at the farmhouse style sink that they gave you. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Very nice. And the extension. Mm-hmm. We got drawers over here. Oh yeah. Soft clothes. Oh my god. Three drawers. Soft clothes. Cabinets under here. Yes, ma'am. 
more cabinetry. Ooh, with tea. Guys, look. Ooh, that's a tower of power right there. No, that's a power of tower, no. Power of power. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, little fancy glasses. Fancy glasses in there. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. I love the soft close drawers. Yes. And we got another cabinet up here. Yes. We got the convection microwave. Very nice. And we got a three burner magic chef. Matt. Ooh, magic chef. Magic chef. Look at that. Last cover. Nice cabinet. And you guys, I got to say, can we just take a look at this skylight real quick? Can we just appreciate Let's it? Let's just appreciate it. It's very As we can see the tornado flying above our head. Right. Now, isn't this beautiful though? I mean, everybody that's been in these RVs and we've been saying, oh, we want more natural light. We want more natural light. Yep. Look at this. This is incredible. It's beautiful. And it even has a shade that goes across. Yep. Here is the residential refrigerator and it does have an ice maker. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Mm. And then it's now time for the toilet test part one. Half bath. Okay. How is it in there? Are you crowded? Oh. Show this vanity and everything okay. while I process this. You gotta process it. Gotta okay, process. so look at that LED light up there. That's interesting. Nice medicine cabinet. Lots of space here. They may not have needed all this over here. Yeah. They probably could have cornered it and that might have gave a little bit more room. Yes, ma'am, I think you're accurate. You got three drawers here with the soft clothes. It's a prime pooping position, and but. We got the cabinet up there, fan, window. <laughs> it's a prime pooping position, but as Andrea said, because they made this a little too big, my knee is hitting it. If they just would have eliminated this whole, like rounded it off there, it would have been perfect but still doable but i cannot get i cannot give it the award uh oh it's okay that's okay that's why there's two bathrooms yeah so check this out andrea oh a bunkhouse motorhome prepped for a stackable wow. washer and dryer you never see that in a bunkhouse motorhome no and then drawers right there and then andrea look at this this is called the bow this is an office right now Okay, I even have a little door. Hi, Matt's RV Reviews, how can I help you? Right? <laughs> this is an office area, but this also converts. You can also use it for our wardrobe, as you see there. To a wardrobe, yes ma'am. Also. Nice. Bunk beds, office, wardrobe. That is B-O-W, Andrea. And as you can see, you guys, you got USB ports over there, electrical outlet. You got a coax over there as well. And this is the best bunk I've ever seen. And then under here, you have, yeah, see, coax over there as well. So yep. the other mattress would go down here. Yes, ma'am. Which is right here. Yep, and you so, flip it in. Wow, I just, I love that they have done that. It just changes so many things it's three and one passes. it's like 11 yeah it's amazing then over here in the bedroom look at this king so we got size a size bed we got a pocket door on the bedroom pocket door king size bed on this over here we have our tv with a little bit of storage behind it very nice tabletop those, right there those are big drawers yes and then look we got wow. a drawer right there very nice Some more over there here's your wardrobe yep extra and chair there absolutely very nice so it is nice. windy it's windy so it's guys look noise. at this i i really like the colors in here what they're doing and the headboard is really cute yep very very modern you know it's not yep really nice headboard dark. i like the colors and then right here it is ready for the coach pap station oh and andrea close that door the, this door? Yeah, look what they're doing there. Oh, oh, a little bit of storage right there. Secret storage. Oh my goodness. Just because you can never have enough storage. Wow. Let me Very see the camera. Nice. That's incredible. If you guys can see, that's amazing. Wow. wow. It really well, is. Well, so yeah, because they didn't give you any nightstands. Right, so. because the king back. Now, Matt, wait till you see the storage under the bed. That is a lot of storage. That's huge. Look at that, it goes all the way back. Yes, it does. Okay. Fantastic. And then to finish it all up. 
pocket door to the master bathroom. Yep. Decent sized shower, not the biggest, not the smallest. Definitely can't be complaining about the size of it here. Plenty of height, Andrea. Okay, so again with the LED lights. Mm -hmm. Nice medicine cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Sink, cabinet under here. You got three drawers. Okay, they got another one up here too. Look at this. Yes. And then you have space here, I guess, you know, for linens and toiletries, whatever you Yeah, no, for. great. And then Andrea. Yeah. I, I like the windows in the bathroom. It's time for the toilet <sighs> test part two. Let's see what you say. This one looks like it might be good. Almost messing it up. Uh oh. But I will give this one the benefit of the doubt. This is a prime poop <laughs> position. Bing! Very nice. Well, Andrea, as nice as it is, and as great as it is, and even though this unit beat out every Class A gas motorhome with bunk beds for 2021, it's still that time for us to give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do with first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, you go first. Okay, so the one thing I did notice that I don't like is this is for families or even full time uh -huh. parking, right? We don't have a designated space for uh, pantry space yep. for food. There is no pantry so space. So that would drive me a little crazy. I guess we would have to figure out what to do. You would have to make it work. Now, yeah. if now here's what I will say: if you're not putting a stackable washer dryer in, you can use that for the pantry. Yes. But um, but even still, I mean. But then the kids don't have place to put their clothes. But that know? could be where that extra cabinet is in the master bedroom too. Right. I mean, it's just tough. You can only fit so much into a 38-foot exactly. motorhome. Um, but yeah, that's a very good one. Do you have a dislike? I do. Do you have another one? I do. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I will say as much as you guys, I love this concept. I really do. I love this bow. The only thing I don't like about it, and I don't know what we can do, is I actually was sitting in here when it was set up as the office and i felt a little enclosed so i was hoping maybe one day they can figure something out where they can have it opened right here let me see you know where this is not mm, open it's the wall yeah yeah so if there's some way that they can make it to where it slides and you can lock it in place and you can slide it over this way interesting you know what i mean i hear your yeah. I, I hear your concerns okay well that's two and then my third dislike is going to be this this is a bunkhouse motorhome. I do not like the fact that it can only hold 300 pounds. True. You know. At least 500. If there's manufacturers who make it 750 and 800 pounds. So 300 pounds just isn't cutting it. I feel like 500 pounds would have just been a lot better. Right, I agree. You know, cause let's say the max is 300 pounds and I go up there. I'm not 300 pounds, but I'm pushing it. Whereas if it's 500 pounds, then you'll be okay. I agree. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. And I don't know where to begin. Me either. Andre, do you want to go first? Yes. Okay, you go. Okay. Only because we missed you on the show oh, for a while. Guys, I love this. Yes. I love this skylight. Yes. I'm so excited about it because it brings in so much natural light. Yep. And, you know, you don't have to worry about it being dark in your RV anymore. And if you don't want it, you just close the shade. Well, not only that, Encore, if it's you guys saw beautiful. if you guys saw the last Encore video, they've added a third LED light strip. So it's yes, already brighter. brighter. It's already brighter than the competition, but I absolutely love that. So that's one. Number two, Andre didn't like this claustrophobic mix, but I love the bow. I love how it's a bunk fest, office, or wardrobe. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's great, and I'm going to combo that with the fact that you are able to get a stackable washer and dryer. I, I have to redeem myself, Matt. Talk to me. You said, okay, first of all, you guys, I do love the bow. Uh-huh. The only thing I would just want, like to see change is maybe maybe we can slide the door over. Yeah, yeah, yeah no doubt. That's all. Yeah. I think it's a great concept. No redemption and needed. Then, and then I have a third dislike. I mean, third oh. like, third like. Talk to me. I love this sofa. Yes. I love it. I mean, the fact that it has heated seats. Nice. And it has massage. Theater. It's comfortable. And placement. You could, a couple people can sit here. I and mean, look directly across it, at the TV. You know what? This RV feels very home-like. Yes. Very homey. And, and, and for the price that yes. it is, it's very nice. 
And I'm gonna combo Just beautiful. It. I'm gonna add another like with the full body paint and the 22.5 inch tires. But great, that's it, that's the review. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call us, text us, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to the website mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, you're gonna see a unit directly compete against this unit right here and you're gonna see the top five awards list so you can see what units this unit beat out right there. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? Yes, I do. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. As you know, Coachman, they do watch our videos, so they will be reading the comments, you guys. So make sure that you, you know, you leave feedback if you guys want to change things in the future. Um, also, if you have not hit the like button, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And we thank you guys, and I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Andrea, welcome back. Thank you. And Andrea, we'll see you next, next time. time.